What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy Cut It Dropping a new video for you guys here today. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a really quick, simple way to set up your steering wheel control buttons to your stereo, aftermarket stereo. So if you have an Android stereo like me, this one right here is a Dezeta. I got this on Amazon. Uh, but there's a lot of different brand of uh, Android stereo out there on the market. And some of us, whenever we install the stereo, we get the problem with our steering wheel control where it doesn't work. Like right now, I'm pressing the volume button. It is not working. And also, my Bluetooth have no name device or pin. So, it's hard for me to know uh, the stereo Bluetooth inside of my phone when it comes to, the, uh, to connect it. So, um, that, that's very frustrating for a lot of people. The reason why I'm saying that is because I got a friend who spent about $270 to have somebody uh, like a professional put those features for him. Uh, and connect the steering wheel control to the stereo and some people always return the, uh, the stereo because they're very um, unhappy or un unsatisfied with the result after installing the stereo so I was having the same problem guys like I'm saying I have the same problem I'm gonna even turn on the car right now so just to show you my car is on okay and here I am pressing the buttons again as you guys can see it is not working the volume button I'm pressing it it is not working as well guys so before you return your um, stereo or before you go ahead and uh, pay somebody else to put those to connect those uh, features to your stereo watch this video I will show you step by step on how to do it it's very very simple very easy so I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera down so I can show you exactly what you need to do one second all right guys so let's go ahead and get started with this um, so the first thing you guys need to do is go to your home buttons and once you get to your home buttons you're gonna have to um, find the settings Go ahead and go on the settings and then just scroll up go all the way to where it says cars right here it says cars and navigation and some more settings press that and the next thing you see here is more features and then you will see this right here that says uh, factoring setting factoring setting go ahead and press it it will ask you to put a pin the pin number is usually inside of your um, user manual so when you flip the pages go to where it says factoring setting and you will see the code for uh the zeta for my for the for for nissan ultima is one two six but there's a lot of other codes for uh for other stereo okay because like i say there's a lot of um android stereo out there on the market and all of them probably got a different code so when you find the code um you go ahead and press one two six and then you press done and then okay and look at that it'll bring you guys to more features here more stuff that you can do with your stereo to uh to really connect it with your car so now the bt right here the bt right here stands for bluetooth so when you press on it you got all these codes right here for bluetooth so right now you got to go ahead and pick each one of them so you know which one is actually compatible to your car so you're going to have to be patient and pick one by one till you find the one compatible to your car the one that will make your the one that's actually for your car so for me it will be the wqf um underscore rf210 that's the one that works for my car all right guys so now uh, you got more features here for TV. I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, this right here, all of that right here. I don't have DVD, uh, no iPod, radio, yes. You know, everything else look good. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And when you're done, make sure you press apply. You come to the car logo. And right here, you can actually customize your logo. You can customize your logo. And uh, you can pick the cars that you have. All right. There's a lot of cars here. But I have a Nissan, so I'm going to go ahead and pick Nissan right here. Make sure I press apply. And then the radio, 
it would tell you here this is just some other features here i'm in america so i'll pick america uh, apply voice right here dvd nothing i'm just gonna leave it as it is you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna really play with that just leave it like that apply can bus now when you come to the can bus that's you got to make sure that you pick your car model right here my can bus says accord so this is a honda accord i got to make sure that i pick a nissan if you have a a Honda Accord, you can pick a Honda Accord. If you have a Lexus, you pick a Lexus. If you have a Mitsubishi, you know, all this other car brand, you pick the one that that kind of uh, matches your car and also the year model. So, like I said, there is a lot of cars right here, as you guys can see. All right. And that's not just one Nissan. They have a lot of Nissan, guys. They have a Nissan right here. And they also have a Nissan right here. So, there's a lot of Nissan, so you're going to have to just pick one. I have this one also for Nissan. So I'm just going to pick this. And um, let me see. Pick that. Um, you know, key model, key model type. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just picking whatever right now. You know, the volume, everything here. So once you're done, press OK right here so this right is for your um buttons panel reset all right but since mine is not connected yet i can't really play with that especially for this right all of this working so i don't really need to play with this this is only in case when your uh steering your stereo buttons right here does not work that's when you go ahead and go on there and then you can pick and choose what you want each button to do okay so i'm just gonna leave it as it is right now apply and come over here to where it says other so this is where you need to be very careful because you get more features here you got radio you got everything here again i'm gonna let you guys figure it out yourself once you get there but the most important is your steering wheel control now you see where it says steering wheel key assigned this is where you need to pay attention to mine said disable all right hold up it says right here sorry it says disable so we need to unable that so we're going to come up here press down and you got to pick one of those key swc key or can key i'm gonna pick the can key uh and then we're going to try that if that doesn't work then you can go ahead and try the sw key okay so i'm gonna pick the can key you got more as you guys see here so again this is just for you guys to play around with whenever you get um Whenever you come to this um, this factory setting, you know, you can play around with this and see what everything does. But as far as your steering wheel, follow the guideline that I just gave you guys and then go ahead and press apply. And when you're done, exit, it will tell you to go ahead and uh, reboot the whole system. And I said, now you're going you're gonna to have to wait for the whole uh, ster uh, the stereo to reset. Okay, so you see now I got a new uh, background you guys see uh, so now it looks good so let me go ahead and back this up a little bit and let's see if my steering wheel control now is working so I'm gonna go ahead and press the volume button and look at that it is working very simple very very simple guys look at uh, uh, my phone book here and look at that my phone book is on amazing let me see the source here all right the source is on too uh, not yet but you hear it out you there need a you background go. you know make yourself look you know you better start yeah. trying lighting work with it let now. Me put the volume right. down we, we don't want to work on the tech stuff thursday night so. you see guys i'm pressing it everything is good everything is working just fine this is amazing it's very simple, very quick way to set it up. 
and this is after i did the installation so if you have not seen that video go ahead and watch that video of how i did the installation for my steering for my stereo and once you watch it and now you want to learn how to set up your steering wheel control to your stereo watch this video so now you got part one and part two and then i will do a part three and this one is just to show you my background right here all right i want to show you how, how i'm gonna make it look so it's gonna look really nice i already I already installed some few, um, some apps like uh, Verizon TV. I got uh, Spotify and I got YouTube. Um, I also have Netflix. I have Netflix on my um, stereo. So if you want me to show you again how to get Netflix on your stereo, comment down below. Let me know if you're really interested about it. If you already know how to do it, then um, that's something that you will really be happy to watch i i do watch netflix i do i work at night sometimes so netflix is a is a must for me so um there you go guys everything is done um make sure y'all subscribe to my channel i hope this video helped you guys a lot and i'll catch you guys on the next one all right take care peace one more thing guys let me go ahead and show you that my uh bluetooth is working as well so when i press my bluetooth and i press uh play right there it's playing my video it's playing my music and you can see the bluetooth right here as well right here so that's it peace we get the back on the same day the same night don't talk on